Mega family, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel, and today we're going to be talking about the Rasta girl that was um that said her hair was trim when she was in the police station. Um, some new evidence have been unfold, and I just want you to listen to this and use the comment section and let me know what you think about the new unfold evidence all right so high level investigation have been launched into the incident where it was reported that the police had cut the locks of this beautiful 19 year old female who got into an altercation with the police officer on june 29 and was taken into custody the case is being dogged into because three persons who claim to be friends of the young woman has given claims that she told them that she has decided to cut her hair due to a white fungus that was growing in it according to the new new claim by the person who came forward they say that she told them nothing about police involvement in her locks removal the young rastafarian woman was released on july 26 after a fine of six thousand dollars that was charged to her for disorderly conduct was paid by her mother who said she did not recognize her daughter when she saw her the individual who gave the new claim said that they are quite upset about the situation with their friends because she told them one thing and have now changed her story one of the person giving the new information information stated that they have to come forward about the matter knowing that the situation might put the police in question out of a job according to the isas bertranam who was bought in as the representative of the case the possibility of charges of creating public mischief and perverting the course of justice is still very possible. So he has issued a warning to those who have given statement to tread carefully. All right. So with that warning, it can be in the uh, indication that maybe the persons that are coming down to say that she told them she cut her hair maybe they're lying on her and at the same time um where did she cut her hair it's just not making any sense the police could have come forward and said that they did not cut any hair or whatever we're not hearing anything also from the officers so it, it it's some some something about this not adding up something about all of this is not adding up um if i know i am officer francis and i know i did not cut your hair i am not going to stay in the dark i am going to even go to the gleaner to the star and clear my name let them know that listen i saw her with her hair cut whatever whatever but they're staying silent and in the come of launch an investigation and until that investigation have been completed we will not know what take place but no someone coming forward to say that they told she told them that she cut her hair is gonna just cause more problem on her you know um so as the the the, the person that is representing her is telling them tread carefully tread careful that simple means that they don't believe this story, but um, Tink Jamaica family, let me know what you think. If if the locks was cut inside, it, it just, to me, I don't know if it's making any sense. Because based on how they're coming forward, the three friends are coming forward. It would have been like the hair was cut before she was arrested. Like they saw her before she was arrested. I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't understand it. I don't understand it at all um so where did she cut her hair um what happened she cut her hair she said that she cut her hair that simply means they saw her with the hair cut before she was locked up and now they're seeing a different story i don't understand it 
because I was saying when I just hear about this new claim, I was saying that so how did she come by a, a, a scissors in lockup to cut her hair? I thought that she was her hair was cut when she was in locked up. So we're just gonna allow Indicom to do what Indicom do best and investigate the situation and if indeed she cut her hair and is blaming um the police that would not be nice but we're just gonna sit back and hear what's gonna unfold from this all right so team jamaica family as always just use up the comment section let us reason together and um if you're new to my channel please remember to hit that subscribe button hit the bell so you know when i upload new content all right and thank you so much for the love thank you so much for the support peace love and light things to make a family from school one afternoon i was sitting in a taxi waiting on the taxi to load up i was there sitting i saw a young man rushing towards the taxi he then came in the taxi and sit down i saw two police officers short coming shortly after asking the passenger what aborted the taxi to remove himself from the taxi. He did not comply, so one of the police officers came on and draped him. After draping the, the man, the, the man punched the police officer in his face. They were there quarreling, and the other policeman came around there and said, okay, you know, come out of the taxi, I'm going to give you something to come out of the taxi, remove his pepper spray and he spread it in the car. I was there sitting down, a lady was there breastfeeding in the taxi. The policeman behaved as if he did not care about what he had done. So I came out, I was angry because I was there observing the protocols, having a mama and everything. And you came there just to remove one occupant and your pepper spray in the old car. So I was there, I had to remove my mask because I was not breathing properly. Having an mask and being pepper sprayed, you can't breathe properly. I was there for ventilating. And I removed my mask. I was so upset because of the situation. So the policeman claimed that I had disrespected him. And he behaved as if he did not do anything wrong. So I was there. They said they were going to arrest me for not wearing a mask. I was brought to the police station. I was told that I was charged for not observing um, COVID-19 protocols, not wearing a mask. On the, day of, on the day of court, I arrived at court. My name called, I went in. I was told that I wasn't charged for a mask. I was charged for disorderly conduct. I was there, I explained to the judge what had transpired. Um, they did not um, explain to me properly what um what was going to take place they did not explain to me that i could pay the six the fine of six thousand dollars I, I only heard when he said 10 days in the lockup so one of the police officers escort me downstairs where i would be waiting for the police officer to come and transport me to the station and arrival at the four pass police station i was sitting on a bench i was then asked to go in the bathroom to stand up. I was asked to go into the bathroom. I was there when the um Miss Mitchell, Corporal Mitchell, had led me to the bathroom. She had a scissors in her hand. I did not know what was her intention, but I was there standing in the bathroom, complying with the rule, um, with rules or uh, whatever they said. I was there and she said, pull out a ear, let loose me a ear, young lady. And I was there at first, I didn't comply with loosening my hair. And I was still standing there. She said, young lady, you know, hear me say to remove, remove um, the school she from your hair. I then removed my hair. She started cutting my hair. After cutting my hair once, the scissors that she was using did not cut my hair properly. So she called for another scissors. So she cut my hair twice. Because after she used that first dose, scissors, my hair never cut as all she wanted or whatever. But she used another scissors to cut my hair. I then bend down and take up some of the hair and I had it in my hand. I was there and then she put me in the cell in lockup. I was in lockup from Thursday night. 
I was on my menstruation. I couldn't change my clothes. I couldn't change my sanitary napkin. I couldn't bed. I got nothing to eat. My on Friday, my mother came. On Thursday, I got locked up. Friday, my mother came with snack, water, and stuff. They, they denied my mother. They did not take that visit. They denied the visit. They took the, the stuff, but they didn't take the food from me. They did not take the food from my mother. They only took the clothes, the clothing. Um, from Thursday night, I did not eat. And Sunday, my mother said she brought some food, some dinner. Because Sunday is the official visiting day. They did not give me that food until 6 o'clock in the evening. When I got the food, the food was sour. I couldn't eat the food because the food was, the food had closed up with the vegetable and everything on it. So I couldn't eat the food because the food was sour. I was there so stressed out, traumatized. A current situation had happened to me and that still had impacts on me. And in the lockup, I can't get anybody to talk to. I was in the lockup. Um, I was in the lockup and Monday my mother came and my mother paid the $6,000 and I was released from lockup. Surprisingly on Monday when I went for her, only to see a little, they brought a little girl to me without no locks on her head. Because believe me, I, I, I couldn't even identify my daughter at the time when I saw her. Because I was saying that the police, why the police are taking so long to bring her out after I have brought the, the receipt to them saying that I paid the fine. And when the police woman tell me that it's my daughter, I, I, me almost pass out. And me ask her, I say, warm to your locks, where your locks there? She said, the one police woman trim her. Me say, where the police woman the name, where she, where she come from? She said, one police woman named Corporal Mitchell. Trim her. So, you know, me don't like some answers. Me don't like to know the reason why she trimmed my daughter locks. Why, why was her locks trimmed? What was the reason for that? What she do? Apart from you saying that she was behaving outrageous. What, apart from the outrageous behavior, what caused it? What was the reason for you to trim my daughter's lock? This have to stop. It need to stop and it have to stop. And this is going to be the last rasta one of trim in Jamaica. Remember. And I said, smile, girl, smile, smile for me, Jamaica.